ever let kids loose with Legos in a room and you come back and it's a mess? That's what your Azure environment looks like without policies. Luckily, Azure policies are like the parent telling you to only build with your Legos in a certain portion of the room, and then they enforce that rule. Think of Azure like a big box of Legos. Policies are rules that say how you can build. For instance, you could have a policy that says only build with blue blocks, or you could have a policy that says every Lego must be flagged for their color. Here's how policies work in Azure. The first part of the policy is the definition. This is the rule itself. And a good example is castles you build must all be built using blue blocks. The first part of the policy is the definition. This is the rules of the policy. It might say something like castles must be built with blue blocks. The second portion of the policy is the assignment, which is where the rule applies. You might say just this one castle should be built with blue blocks. The last portion of the policy is the effect, which is what happens when someone breaks the policy. You can configure the effect to either stop someone from breaking policy, warn you or them they're about to break policy, or allow them to break policy and then automatically go back and revert those changes. In short, Azure policy definitions are your guardrails for security, compliance, and cost control. No policies, you're just hoping for the best. With policies, you're actually in control of your Azure environment.